Yeah, so uh, just a little bit more about what we're doing here and why we're doing it. As I started to think about this period in history um, during COVID when there were these sort of upticks on, on Asian people, um, just really seeing what were other times in history where we saw that. And World War II was again this period where we saw this anti-Asian social hysteria happening. And so there were many parallels to that time and that time, the time we're living in now. And I was invited to give a, uh, a pre-show and a post-show Q&A with Arthur Dong, who's a consultant on this production. He made an incredible film called Forbidden City USA, which is brilliant. Please watch it. Um, he details the story of these nightclubs in San Francisco Chinatown from like the 20s and 30s all the way to like the 60s. Um, these were spaces were that were for Asian people. They weren't allowed to perform in the white clubs at first, so they created their own spaces. And there was one performer in particular that really inspired me, um, thinking about the word geisha. What else could it be? In our context, geisha, in Je Japan, Japanese culture, geisha means artist, means performer. So what's a performer and artist in our time? So if Chocho-san was instead cast as a jazz singer in the 1940s in one of these nightclubs, um, modeled after a dancer named Dorothy Toy. Uh, she was Japanese American of Japanese heritage, but during World War II, during the 1940s, she hid her um, ethnicity, so she tried to pass as Chinese. She was known um, with her partner Paul Wing as the uh, Chinese Fred and Ginger. Ultimately, uh, her family was uh, incarcerated. She fled to the East Coast. Eventually, she was outed by a competing dance team as Japanese, and then she lost all of her work as a result of that. Um, so that's really mirrored in this first act, Uncle Bon's sort of outing of Butterfly. Um, and then, uh, so that really inspired me. And then the second and third act takes place in camp. And so again, finding that desolate uh, environment that Butterfly finds herself and being able to set that in a larger community feel for uh, a larger Japanese American community. So.